shit done. <laughs> Take a shower. Yeah. I'm doing this. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be like 86 today. It's Like 12 champs. It's felt surreal. Still feels so amazing to be here. I mean, just learning about Chicago is a whole different culture from where I'm from. It was amazing. First Euro basket with the men's team playing in front of a packed house in Finland, so everything's new to me. Just trying to learn everything and trying to look what the older guys are doing. This is a great day for the Bulls organization, bringing Doug Collins back in a role senior advisor to basketball operations. His wealth of knowledge and his wisdom are going to be an, a huge asset for us. He's got a plan. This is home, and I'm really excited. One of the things I can't wait to be a part of is to watch this organization start to build brick by brick and start to become a really, really good team again. I'm here to help them however they need me to help them. Family for me is everything. My mom was the one that always brought food to the house, brought clothes to everybody. We would see her like getting up in the morning at like 6 a.m. and get home at 9 p.m. after all she did for me. I knew she deserved it, so with this brick contract I got, that was the first purchase I got from was my mama's house. In the first year that I got here, Joachim was one guy that was like, always talking to me. He was like helping me every single day. Harvest All was the guy that helped me the first year. And then the second year, Taj was the guy that was always talking to me. Jimmy, D. Rose, I had great players around me and they helped me get to this point. And now I just have to take what they taught me and put into the game. Just yourself, trying to push harder, harder, trying to improve, trying to make every single shot, which never happens in the game. For this season, my focus is on trying to improve my game even more. I have shown people what I can do. I'm just focused on trying to be consistent and trying to help the team as much as I can every time I'm on the court. We have so many guys here, and then I feel that if we play together, we're gonna be fine, so we don't need to guy. We need, just need everybody to play together. The Dwayne Wade era with the Bulls comes to an end. He's agreed to a contract buyout, giving millions back on that Mega Millions player option. Bulls get to training camp today with Nikola Mirotic in tow on a new two-year deal. He waited. He brought a championship mentality every day. If we can keep doing the same thing that D Wade and Rondo instilled in us that I learned from them, man, it's gonna be a fun thing to see. It's brand new, you know, it's fresh. So there's so much potential to go in any direction. Zach Levine, shooting guard, UCLA. I'm very happy for this opportunity. I'm trying not to let anybody down because, you know, I know how important this is for this organization. You know, I want to be able to go out there and help and be one of the leaders of this team. Just to see how hard we've been working during the summer, I think it's going to show a lot in training camp. We will grow from every practice. You will see progress. I have a really good feeling about this, and I'm really looking forward to training camp and start the season. It's just been a beautiful thing to see everybody come in so early in September and be so committed to the team. This is the first time that, you know, my three years that that's happened. For the vibe that I've got this last couple of weeks is that, you know, nobody is, 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 is selfish, really. I'm starting to, like, 
every guy even more because we're starting to get to know each other a lot more. So it's a five on five on five. If you score, you keep the ball. Way to go, Jerry! I like how willing they are to play with each other. The guys so far, they've really done a great job of playing together. They've been working hard. You know, I think that's something that a lot of people take for granted at this level, and you, you can't knock them for that. Our togetherness has really stood out. You know, we have guys talking more, being more vocal. We have guys that are stepping outside of their comfort zone, even talking now. Everybody wants to learn and get better. Everybody is at their point in their careers where, you know, they want to show something, they want to prove something. Bobby Portis has been looking incredible, knocking down jump shots. You know, his intensity, you know, on offense and defense. You know, his, his body is different. You know, he's shooting the ball well. He's communicating, and he's becoming one of our team leaders. I've been around the, the Bulls for three years now, and I've seen the ups and downs, and I see the trials and tribulations that you can go through during the season. And, you know, I feel like I can really help these guys. Lowry just came about like two weeks ago. You know, we were watching him and doing his thing over there in Europe. You know, it was great to see him play. And now we're looking for him to continue to do that same thing in training camp. I feel like you got to push yourself to get better. That's a lot easier to push yourself when you have to compete for playing minutes. So that really helps. You know, it's a struggle not being able to be out there with your guys. You see them fighting and stuff like that. But, you know, I can be there to support and help, you know, be a part of the guys and, you know, put that hard work in and let them see my work ethic and let them know that, you know, they're not going through this alone. Get that right arm back. Ready? Three, two, one, go. I'm way ahead of schedule. Once that time does come, I'm going to hit the ground running and be ready. Everything we do, as far as our practice, has to be with pace. It's definitely exciting for me to play in French system. I'm almost like how I played in college. It's definitely beneficial for me because I think I'm at my best in transition. And, you know, when team missed the ball, you know, can get it off the rim and run. He seems really excited to be able to implement his offense. He's happy to come in every day and work and, and interact with everybody, and that's, that's something good to see, especially coming from your head coach. The coaching staff is great. They're in here working hard every day just like us. They're getting in, you know, beforehand and after working with us. You know, you can kind of see, you know, how excited they are to coach this team. That build of trust between players and coaches that goes on through the season. It's a certain culture that they're building here, and, and you can feel it through them. I think it's trickling down through all of us, and, and we're making sure everybody is held accountable, but at the same time is having a good time, being very positive in this situation that we are in, and getting ready just to grow together. Expect ups and downs. Expect it to be hard for us. Those ups and downs are going to make this team grow into the team that we want to be at the end of the year. We had superstars around us and we still had ups and downs last year. We have to stick together and that's how you grow as a team. I got complete trust in myself and you know utter confidence in myself because of the work I put in. I'm going to go out there and continue to do that. Whenever I put this jersey on, I'm going to show up. I'm going to do what I have to do for this team to win. I've been through a lot of adversity in my life, and this is just another step for us. We're trying to rebuild and trying to improve, but as a team, and you know, we're gonna go out there and try to win games.